about variable and its types. What are variables? Variables are things you measure, manipulate and control in statistics and research. All studies analyze a variable which can describe a person, place, thing or idea. A variable's value can change between groups or over time. For example, if the variable in an experiment is a person's eye color, its value can change from brown to blue to green, from person to person. Types of variable Researchers organize variables into a variety of categories, the most common of which include independent variable, dependent variable, mediating variable, moderating variable, control variable, extraneous variable, quantitative variable, qualitative variable, confounding variable, and composite variable. Let's study them in detail. Independent variable. An independent variable is a variable that you manipulate in order to affect the outcome of an experiment. For example, the amount of salt added to each plant's water. Dependent variable. The dependent variable is a variable that represents the outcome of the experiment. For example, any measurement of plant health and growth. In this case, plant height and wilting. Mediating variable. A mediating variable, sometimes called an intervening variable, is a theoretical variable that researcher uses to explain a cause or connection between other study variables, usually dependent and independent ones. They are associations instead of observations. For example, if wealth is the independent variable and long lifespan is a dependent variable, the researcher might hypothesize that access to quality health care is the mediating variable that links wealth and lifespan. Moderating variable A moderating or moderator variable changes the relationship between dependent and independent variables by strengthening or weakening the mediating variable's effect. For example, while social media use can predict level of loneliness, this relationship may be stronger for adolescents than for older adults. Age is a moderator here. Quantitative variable. Quantitative variable are any data sets that involve numbers or amounts. Examples might include height, distance, or number of items. Qualitative variable. Qualitative or categorical variables are non-numerical values or groupings. Examples might include eye or hair color. Quantitative variables. There are two types of quantitative variables, discrete variable and continuous variable. Discrete variable. Any numerical variables you can realistically count. For example, the coins in your wallet or the money in your savings account. Continuous variable. Numerical variables that you could never finish counting. For example, time. Qualitative variables. There are three types of qualitative variables. Binary variable, nominal variable, and ordinary variable. Binary variable. Variables with only two categories. For example, male or female, red or blue. Nominal variable. Groups with no rank or order between them. For example, species, names, brands. Ordinal variable. Groups that are ranked in a specific order. For example, finishing place in a race. Control variable. Variables that are held constant throughout the experiment. For example, the temperature and light in the room the plants are kept in and the volume of water given to each plant. 
Extraneous variable. Extraneous variables are factors that affect the dependent variable but that the researcher did not originally consider when designing the experiment. These unwanted variables can unintentionally change a study's results or how a researcher interprets those results. For example, a study assessing whether private tutoring or online courses are more effective at improving students' Spanish test scores, extraneous variables that might unintentionally influence the outcome include parental support, prior knowledge of a foreign language, or socioeconomic status. Confounding variable a variable that hides the true effect of another variable in your experiment. This can happen when another variable is closely related to a variable you are interested in, but you haven't controlled it in your experiment. For example, pot size and soil type might affect plant survival as much or more than salt additions. In an experiment, you would control these potential confounders by holding them constant. Composite variable A variable that is made by combining multiple variables in an experiment. These variables are created when you analyze data, not when you measure it. For example, the three plant health variables could be combined into a single plant health course to make it easier to present your findings. Latent variable A variable that can't be directly measured but that you represent via a proxy. For example, soil tolerance in plants cannot be measured directly but can be inferred from measurements of plant health in our soil addition experiment. Thank you for watching this video.